Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. Today I've got another addition to my Stars Hollow save file for you in the form of a build today. So we are making Kim's Antiques. And if you're not familiar with the show, this is an antique shop, but also the home of Mrs. Kim and Lane from the show. And I've created both of those characters in Kaz already. So I'll link that in the video somewhere um, once I post this. To those of you who are new and not familiar with my save file, if you're a massive Gilmore Girls fan, you might be excited by the idea that I am recreating the whole of Stars Hollow within The Sims. So, so far we've got videos and creations on the gallery for um, Lorelai and Roy Rory's house and them in Kaz as well. I've got Luke Steiner, Luke and Jess, Taylor's soda shop next to Luke's as well as a library building next to that. We've also got Miss Patty's dance studio, the town gazebo as well as the Stars Hollow Church and those three buildings are all in one build. And I've also made Taylor and Kirk in Kaz as well as well as Zach and Brian and like I said Lane and Mrs Kim. So we've got a fair amount done already. I actually just made a list today of what we've got left to do and I think I've got like 10 lots to fill up in Stars Hollow and then I may do some additional builds for example like the grandparents house outside of Newcrest which the Stars Hollow safe file will be based in so I've got so much to do but I'm not complaining because these are some of my favourite builds to create in The Sims so I love doing it and they're not actually the most popular videos that I have on my channel but that doesn't bother me really because this has been a bit of a pet project for me so I don't really mind if they get views or not I'm just doing it for the fun of it. So the day that you're watching this or the day that I will be posting it is Saturday and the following Monday I hope to release a video of me touring your entries to my shell challenge that I launched not too long ago which I'm really excited about because I didn't think like barely anyone would take part and I've had quite a few entries already and the ones I have seen like in your videos have been absolutely amazing so I'm so excited to go through through those so keep your eyes peeled if you have already entered a build to that but then also on Tuesday it's actually my birthday so I was planning on releasing a build of my or what I would consider to be my dream home and that just happens to be basically a rural farmhouse so I haven't created that build yet but I will do soon and I was also planning on asking you guys if you wanted me to answer any questions about myself in that video so if you were interested in anything about me or any tips or anything like that to do with the sims then please feel free to comment them down below and I can include them in that video but yeah so back to the build in terms of the exterior of the house I had to take some liberties with the right hand side of the build because actually in all of the pictures and in the episodes of Gilmore Girls the that side of the build is covered entirely by that tree in the front garden so I couldn't actually see very well what that side of the house looked like or what the roof looked like for example so I just took my best shot at it so I hope it looks okay for you as well the back of the house um, ends up looking quite boring I think and now that I'm thinking about it there's a back door out of the kitchen that I then forgot to like add an entrance to so I'll make sure that I edit that when I come to putting the save file together because I don't think that's functional at the minute <laughs> I'm as bad as EA honestly but apart from that I tried so hard in this one to reference the actual house within the series and make sure that it was spot on or as close to spot on as I could possibly make it because in the video where I made Luke's apartment I thought I had it down I thought I knew it from memory but when it came down to it I really really struggled to make the interior match that of the show whilst also working within the boundaries of the shell of the exterior so for this one I really did my research and I watched particularly a couple of episodes over and over again and like paused and made screenshots just to make sure that I had it spot on. Um, I even put in the doll's house that happened to be in one of the episodes that I was looking at. But basically most of the interior decorating for this house is just like random furniture everywhere and it's quite lucky really because because it's a furniture shop or an antique shop obviously the furniture within the house itself changes all the time so it doesn't ever 
never look exactly the same in any two episodes. So that was quite nice because I had a bit of freedom in terms of what that looked like. But the rest of the house I tried to make as spot on as possible. The episodes that I used for reference though were, um, well at first I tried using the pilot episode because they introduced you to the Kim household in there. But I noticed when they walked into the house, it looked completely different in that episode to the other ones. And I don't know, I think it might be a bit of a running joke in Gilmore Girls that because it's a furniture shop and the furniture is constantly changing and the rooms are constantly being moved about that it ends up being a bit of a maze and in that pilot episode in particular Rory's trying to talk to Lane and they're in different rooms and they're completely lost trying to get to each other so I think it's a bit of a joke that the house never really matches up between episodes but they may just have changed it in one season from another, so I don't know. So instead, I chose to use the episode where Lane gets married for reference because basically most of the episode takes place in their house. So, and actually most of that episode, there's not very much furniture in it either because they're sort of using it for different reasons. So that was nice to sort of see where the windows were laid out and things like that. One episode that I tried to get a hold of, but I couldn't find anywhere like I couldn't work out which season or which episode it was so I wasn't able to find it like quickly was one where I know Lane's band comes over for dinner like either for Christmas or something like that and it's just Lane's extended family and her band members sitting awkwardly at a dining room table so I'm sorry if that doesn't match up with the program but I did my best (laughs) The other main room in the house that I tried to reference was Lane's bedroom because we obviously get to see that quite a lot on the show. That was pretty simple. I obviously couldn't include her secret stash of CDs that she hides underneath her floorboards um, because that's like a key feature of her bedroom. But I put a wardrobe to the right of her bed because I know she's got like a little area in there where she hides anything that her mum wouldn't approve of basically because her mum's quite conservative and doesn't let her to to do much that she's interested in so she loves music she loves rock music but her mum very much doesn't approve of that so she's got like a little um wardrobe that she hides in and has all of her posters and loads of decorations that her mum basically wouldn't let her have out in her room so I tried to include that especially um but then just because of the shape of the house like we never see the full layout of the house in the show and obviously you know it's a set so the exterior is not necessarily going to match the interior of their set is it so I really struggled with this area behind Lane's bedroom that I ended up turning into like a very large ensuite for her because um, in one of the episodes she dyes her hair purple and we get to spend a lot of time in the episode within that bathroom so I just made that like Lane's ensuite because for some reason in my head I always thought it was her ensuite I don't know if they ever mention it but just because they're sort of hiding out in there for a long period of time I just thought that it might be her private bathroom So sorry if that doesn't match up with your idea of the house or if you just think it's a bit odd because then there's another massive bathroom um, on the other side of the house. And then and then Mrs. Kim has her own ensuite, which is much smaller than Lane's. So that's a bit odd, too. But I don't know. I think it's okay. It's kind of makes sense, right? But in terms of this so far, I'm thinking about editing some past videos like for the most important builds like Luke's diner and um, the main characters Kaz and the main characters households basically. I'm thinking about editing those again so that I maybe that I do a voiceover. At the minute one of them I know is like 30 minutes long and I can't imagine people are going to want to watch that and I feel like they're the builds that people want to see right no one really wants to see kim's antiques i'm just doing it because i'm already building it in the sims and i want to i don't want to waste the content so i'm posting it on youtube um 
but yeah I'm also gonna have like a massive overhaul of my tumblr which is gonna take me absolutely forever but hopefully I'll manage to do it this week and I've been like trying to set up tags and links and things so that when I do post my save file it'll all be like nicely laid out for everyone and hopefully that will be better for encouraging people to come and look at my other content as well so before I go I just wanted to mention Mrs Kim's bedroom because I don't think we actually see it throughout the show I think we get to see it maybe once when um Lane goes in there and like watches her sleep when either when she moves out or is angry with her for some reason you know they've had a fight or something so yeah you get to see it like really quickly in one episode and I couldn't remember which episode that was so I couldn't have a look for you guys but I figured you're not really bothered about what Mrs Kim's bedroom looks like right and it's probably not going to be in the same place or be able to be the same shape anyway just because of the constraints of the build so I don't know I just I just went with what I thought her style might be like or could be like based on the rest of her house and I hope it works and you don't mind that it's inconsistent but anyway we're coming up to the end of the build now so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're enjoying these Gilmore Girls videos I know not all of you are fans but thank you for watching anyway if you are if you liked it please leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one so thank you guys bye Thank you.